Good afternoon, Emory and Henry College family and friends. Last week, I took some time to tell you that we had made decisions to go ahead and extend spring break and to move our students online for two weeks after that. Events, however, have overtaken us. And we have decided that for the betterment of everyone and for everyone's public health and to be in compliance with our governor, uh, no seated classes will occur at Emory and Henry. And in fact, we will complete the semester online. This is a news that is greeted with mixed emotions because it tells us that even in the most times of crisis, Emory and Henry continues to function. We have a long history of that, whether it was in the Civil War, the First or Second World Wars or the Great Depression, Emory and Henry always found a way to continue to deliver a high quality educational experience for its students. In fact, even now, we are providing our students with counseling services, we are providing our students with academic and career advising, and we are providing our students with the instruction that they are going to need in order to complete the semester. Our staff is working hard to ensure that the experience for students is as good as it can be, even though we're having to do it online. Our staff continues to watch the campus, even though the vast majority have been sent home for purposes of preserving the public health. But Emory and Henry must continue. And I have to say at this moment, our faculty is working so hard. One of the great uh, stories of the 20th century is when the United States at the outbreak of the Second World War moved from making sewing machines and Fords to becoming the arsenal of democracy. It took 18 months then, but our faculty is doing it in two weeks, moving the entire curriculum to an online delivery system. This is an amazing feat and really points to the dedication, the ingenuity and creativity of our faculty. I'm pleased to tell you that faculty and staff are finding ways even yet to work together to ensure that Emory and Henry's reputation of quality continues even at this unprecedented moment. But we are now having to make the decision to refund on a prorated basis funds that students have paid for room and board. Roughly 40% of the semester will be for services that they're not receiving, those students who are living here on campus. And so, fairness dictates that we need to give them back the funds that they have given us. Already, small colleges all across the country are challenged to make their budget. But this adds an added burden, but we feel it's the right thing to do. At this time, we would ask that our friends and those who want to see the success of the college and the success of our students be willing to give so that we are able to cover that part of our budget that is going to have to be incurred in order for us to honor our commitment to our students. At this time when all of us are having a difficult time finding the firm ground beneath our feet, Emory and Henry continues to be that place that lends a helping hand to make certain that we are a place of permanence, a place of stability and continuity and quality in this world. Thank you very much.